Hello and welcome back, and today's a good day. 68 subscribers, my first video has hit a thousand views, which is a huge landmark. And we are back in Universe Sandbox 2 for a long-awaited video. So I said, you know, what's a good th uh, icon a lot of people around the world will recognize? And I said, you know what? The soccer ball, or if you live in other parts of country, uh, other countries, it's called the football. So if we do my plan, the shoot body, then we're going to find the soccer ball objects. Soccer ball. Now we're going to shoot this. Here we are. Now, you may be wondering, why the heck are you throwing a soccer ball at Earth? That is going to do no damage whatsoever. So let's just see what a normal soccer ball will do. So we've got the soccer ball. It's going towards the semi-glitching out Earth. So we're going in. Do, 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 do. I'm pretty sure it would have been burned up by the atmosphere by now, but let's let it uh, pretend it didn't. That actually did some damage. Um, I'm going to consider that odd. Oh, other soccer balls also. I must have clicked multiple times. Actually, every time I click, yeah, it's doing it every time I click. So my plan was, let's see how much damage we can make one of these do. So we're going to give this soccer ball here. An enormous velocity. When I say enormous, I mean... Hmm, total velocity. Let's start out by going kind of ridiculous and um, putting the velocity up to, let's say, a million kilometers per second. And now... Oh, it didn't let me do that. We are just going to have to do this. Ba da 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 da. Oh, just go into motion. That'll be faster. And we are going to have to slow down time so that it doesn't hit the earth before we hit the velocity we want. I hope it's actually going towards the earth. I didn't check to make sure it's going in the right direction. Well, it's a body sun, is it? Dang it, it's got an orbit. Ugh. Okay, well, let's try this again. Uh, powers. Shoot body. Ah, there's the exploder. Someone told me that's back now. I failed to cover that. In Alpha 14. I was like, oh, dang it, I missed that. So let's go to motion, and let's just make this go ridiculously fast, because as you can probably tell from my <laughs> throw Earth at the sun at the speed of light thing, I like things going very fast. So, we're going faster and faster. And we are hitting 300 kilometers per second, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Let's go a little bit. Let's just go crazy. Let's see how fast we can get this going. Because, you know, speed is what, well, whatever, it's just. Now, even though we're going uh, half a second per second, this is going very fast. We. Oh, oops. That won't hit it, will it? Oh no, that may have been bad. Okay, back to our light, almost light speed soccer ball. We are going slow. Okay, now motion. Let's go crazy. 
Oh, back to here. Motion. Light speed. Let's turn it up. I don't know why the Earth's doing that. I don't know if it's playing with the soccer ball, because it seemed when I put the soccer ball in, it did it. So... Two light speeds. It's not enough, though. This is Spike Viper's channel. Here, we don't, we don't do things small. We do it ridiculous. Because that's how you do science. You push the boundaries. And sometimes do things that are a little bit stupid. So let's do a hundred times light speed. This is physically impossible. I stopped it perfectly there. Uh, this is physically impossible. Most of you probably know. Light speed is the fastest things can go. But. Oh, stopped it perfectly there. We are going to watch the Earth and see what this does. Okay, so if we look at the time, this is going so fast. <laughs> it's barely been any time. This is yesterday, apparently. Oh, wait, 616. Oh, I don't even know. It's recent, and um, we're going towards the surface of the Earth. Are we ready for this? Dun dun da 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 da. da. It's pretty cool how big it looks once you zoom in a bit. You can you can really get the feeling that this is Earth. This is a whole planet, and we're going in, and. Just quickly get a good view of the Earth. There's America. So we've hit. And. Huh. Hmm, this leaves a question. Did anything actually happen? Did the rotational period end? Or oh, change? Wow! It did. Or did it? Was it that before? I don't know, let's check. It, the day may be a little bit shorter now. Um, let's see. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay, so then, I guess the soccer ball really didn't do much against the Earth, but we don't stop there. The, the, we aren't going to let Earth win this. This isn't how it works. So, let's go back to objects, soccer ball. Shoot a soccer ball. That didn't appear to work. Oh, let's try that again. Soccer ball. Oh, am I going too fast? Oh, no. Here we go. We'll get rid of one of those. We'll zoom in on the other one. And we're going to give this guy... What it needs. So... First of all, the big thing stopping the soccer ball is its mass. So we're going to switch to... This. And maybe... And hit a good size for the soccer ball. Let's go to kilograms so we can actually see what's going on. So we need a lot more mass than this, and you guys obviously know that. I mean, seriously. 30 kil ugh, kilograms, is it enough? We need more, more! Okay, so now we're getting too heavy. This is like... 
Okay, now we're getting very heavy. Now, I, I go with pounds, so I don't exactly know how much this is compared to things. But what I do know is that I think its own gravity is starting to crush it. Now, was it material? Is it maybe silicate? Okay. So, let's continue. Um, now if we go to Earth, it's still 0, 0.00, but who cares? We'll just keep going up. Hmm. And we want it to still look kind of like a... A soccer ball. So what we're going to do is we are going to comp... Oh. Never mind, I, I just got rid of a lot of its mass by doing that. I guess I have to go the other way. I'm going to have to put up its density. So let's just make this 0. Point oh, here it is. There we go. What did that do? Okay, so now the soccer ball is big enough that I can easily expand it. And we are going to turn its density up. Can I not do that? No, oh, I may not be able to do that anymore. Density. Ah, here we go. It was locked. Okay. Now we're going to turn up its density. So what we want is we want it to have a lot of mass, but we still want it to be kind of like a, a soccer ball. I don't remember what it was before, but... It's three meters across. It's a lot for a soccer ball. Um, so we're going to put this up. You know, who cares about how big it is? It, it won't get that big in the end. Um, now if we go to Earth, you know what? Let's just... We need to give it a bit more mass. And then... Hopefully... This will actually do some damage. Doing the whole get bigger than collapse on itself thing. That's fine. So if we compare this to the moon. You know, let's make a soccer ball with the mass of the moon. This will be interesting because I'm going to make its density so that its radius is uh, normal. So how about 260 kilometers? Still not enough. We're going to need to double that maybe? No, we're going to have to spring it up to 10,000 because I'm not going to wait here. Oh! Still not enough. A hundred thousand still not enough um one million still not enough whatever I'll just do a one actually no 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 add a nine at a time okay we're close now we're very close I think it'll be 15. Oh, we're very close. 56. Um. Radius of soccer ball. Soccer ball. Uh. Circumference. 69 to 51 centim. Oh, that's. Not radius, uh, radius, 4, 11, 11 centimeters. Okay, well, we've got to go a bit further here if we want this to be a regulation size soccer ball. So, we are going to go 30 centimeters. Okay, that's too small. Um, let's make this 25 magic number. Still way too small. Uh, 24. Twenty-three. Twenty-two. There we go, that's regulation there. Uh, so the radius, it's off regulation by a tiny bit. But we are going to be that... Uh, 
we aren't going to be that much. It doesn't matter at that point. Now, this soccer ball is really going to pack a punch because we're going to do what we did before. We're going to go to light speed and we're going to make it one light speed. Whoa. Where does it think it's going? I hope it knows it's hitting Earth. It, it, it can't have any other plans. This is what's happening here. First, I have to slow down time. No, if I play, we're not moving much. Um, it should not be orbiting. No, dang it. How do I change edit? Uh, select. No, it's under edit, and then. You want to be going in a different direction, you evil soccer ball of death and destruction. You know what? I have a better way to do this. Okay, so we're going to pause this simulation because I don't want to have to do all of that all over again. We're going to do, we're going to add earth. Okay, so this soccer ball is definitely going to hit this earth. There are a few factors messed up. Like, for example, um, the fact that the earth's going to naturally be warmer and everything's going to be messed up with the earth because we kind of just added it without an orbit or anything, but who cares? Oh, well, didn't mean to do that, but here we are. Um, it's hit Earth, and let's see what's happened to it. This soccer ball of death. I see fragments. There are a bunch of little fragments, too. So these fragments are very warm. They're all looking nice. Wow, look at that. Earth completely... What? Oh. Earth completely pwned by a soccer ball. But that's okay. Let's speed up time. And we're going to see if Earth can recover from this. Dang, I kind of missed it there. I missed the slow motion. Hope you guys aren't angry. I tried to make it nice. Oh. Oh, here it goes. Okay, time's speeding up. Let's let it cool down. Will it? Well, Earth doesn't seem to want to cool down. I think Earth is perpetually destroyed now. So the soccer ball has success. Oh. So Earth <laughs> absorbed the light speed. There we go. Maybe it'll cool down now. Maybe it was the speed. No. Well, you know what? We kind of. Earth is not happy. Let's try one more thing. Um, let's just do something with Earth. Earth, Earth, Earth. Uh, create, create. Okay, seriously, where's the new one? Uh, main, new. Here we go. So we put Earth here. Then plus powers. Shoot body, objects, soccer ball, bam, the soccer ball, moving way too fast, ooh, ooh, I really caught that, okay, so this is definitely going to hit Earth no matter what I do to it, so this will be our slow motion version, so let's just, we aren't going to go regulation, well yes we will. But I know how to do it now, so this will be a lot faster. Uh, moon. One moon. <laughs> uh, 
Um, how fast are we going? We may want to go a little bit slower, even. Okay, here we go. Um, density, what did we do? Uh, we have to wait until we hit the E thing. Um, radius, uh, no, that's not enough. Still not enough. Still not enough. Oh, here we are. So this is... It was 22, I think? Yay! Okay, soccer ball. Regulation. Um, uh, can I do E plus 22? Point two. No, can I... Can I do 20? No, I'm not even going to try. That's... That's... <sighs> and if I turn this down, then it would get rid of a ton of the mass. So, motion... Total velocity, light speed, one. Okay, so here we are. The soccer ball is angry. He's like, you kick me around so much, all of you earthlings. And here's Earth, who's completely freaking out. Here we go, we're moving in. You can see the Earth view here. It's going to hit near America, so I can zoom in there. There we are. That's where it's going to hit. Here we are. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One as it goes slow motion. One and a half. Oh wait, that's backwards. Half. Basically zero. Da done. Okay, let's see what this does. Oh my. So we've hit, we, we've exploded, the soccer ball has indeed made a mark, we can zoom this in a little bit to see here too. The fragments coming out are humongous, <laughs> look at that, oh my god, that's ridiculous. The soccer ball lost its density there, and now it's... Yeah, it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. Oh my. That's that's a pretty bright explosion. Um... Earth is doing... Well, its surface temperature right now is 5,000 degrees. So we're going to assume that it's not doing very... Is Earth shrinking? No, it's moving away. Earth is not happy. It is 5,000 degrees Celsius. It's The impact has sent it spinning in the wrong direction. All of these fragments are flying out. I think some of them, over time, are actually going to come back at some point. Now the Earth is here in this predicament. We can see over here the shockwave. Oh, here's the shockwave. There is actually a shockwave being sent out now. Oh, is it a shockwave? No, that just seems to be the fiery remains. No, it actually may be the shockwave. Yep. It's just it was going so slow motion. Oh my god. <laughs> 32 seconds for Earth to spin. Oh my god! Wow! I didn't realize it was going so slow! The Earth is really messed up! Um... This soccer ball has... Indeed... <laughs> Knockout! Bing! Earth versus soccer ball. Oh, that's just great. You can see here, if I zoom in... 
we're going to watch it, the damage spread over time. So here's the original so shock, sh shock wave. Um, we can see it going down, and here's the Earth melting. So the shock wave is about to finish. Bam, the shock wave's done. But now is the real sad part. Anyone who survived that shock wave? <laughs> well, they're not going to survive this. The Earth is literally becoming a liquid magma world again. And that that's not good for business. But wait, it seems that Earth is fighting it. Half the world is not liquid magma. Ooh, this is interesting. So if we speed up a little bit, we can see here what's going on. Now, obviously, no one would survive this. <sighs> We're going to have to speed up a bit faster. Oh, yep. Earth has completely melted. It is now turning white hot. This is really bright. Now, to put in perspective how bright this is, I'm going to put in... Just quickly, I'm just going to launch a series real quick. Because I think the light will reflect off of it. Oh, dang it. And we'll be able to see how bright this actually is. No. Dang. Doesn't it? It's not that in depth. Um... So let's keep going. It appears this may actually be cooling down over time. Yep, so we're losing the temperature now. And we're going to see that as it becomes a darker and darker red. And finally, stone is starting to come back. We. Yep, now it's a stone planet. I want to see the crater. Let's see this crater. Since it spins in 31.8 seconds, um, even with it on slow motion, it moves a bit too fast. Um, where's this? Cr oh my god! Guys, this is from a soccer ball. A soccer ball did that. That's ridiculous. Well, a soccer ball that was thrown at the speed of light and given the mass of the moon. But we, we gotta ignore that. Oh, we missed it. But the Earth actually came back for a second there before it froze. Um, just heat it up real quick. So we can see what happened. Um. Okay, let's wait for plants to come back. Dang. Okay, well, let's just say... It wouldn't be a good place to live anyway. I mean, that's a fast day. Imagine just walking outside and just... <laughs> that. Let's get it to real time. Yeah, this is about real time. It's even a little bit slower. Imagine if you lived on this island here. How do I go into... I know there's a way to go into first-person view. But if you lived on this island here... Okay, it's night. Now we're going to try to follow it. It's going to come out right here. Okay, ready guys? And... You should see it any moment now. Hmm. It was one of these islands. Oh! I think that's it right there. Yep. There it is. Day already. Okay, I go to school. Um, eat dinner. Say hi to your friends. Oh no, it's night again. <laughs> wow, that would be terrible. That would be so terrible. How would you sleep? <sighs> well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, 
You guys are supportive. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good day.